Hey everyone, in today's video, I am going to test out Red Jasper Genuine. This is a new color that Daniel Smith has added in 2019 to their Primatech series of watercolor paint. Primatech colors are made from authentic mineral pigments. So this color is one of few that Daniel Smith has introduced in 2019. They also added several grays, seven grays in total. I didn't buy them. Now Steve Mitchell from Mind of Watercolor has reviewed them. You might want to check out that video. I'll put the link in the video description below. According to the description on Daniel Smith's website, Red Jasper Genuine comes from India and it's colored a rich red from iron. So this stone is often carved as amulet, vase and other decorative items. And this is one of the stones that's used to embellish the Taj Mahal. Red Jasper is very granulating, non-staining and semi-transparent. So I'm going to mix Red Jasper with the warm and cool primaries. So here I have lemon yellow mixed with Red Jasper. So we have some sort of brown. Red Jasper actually looks a bit like burnt sienna or some of those red brown or yellow oxide and this is red jasper with new gumbosh Red Jasper with a warm red. This is organic vermilion, PR188. And this is with Crinacridon Rose, PV19, a cool red. And this is French Ultramarine PB29. So we can get some sort of gray, which is very nice. And this is with Thaler Blue PB15-3. Taylor Blue is incredibly strong, so I need to add more Red Jasper. The swatches have dried, so let's take a closer look. So this is a nice granulating earth tone. The paper texture here is not that nice, so I've went ahead to paint on another paper. So. Here you see the granulation, it's affected by the paper texture. And here it looks nicer, here it looks like a mess. I've also went ahead to swatch out other earth tones to compare with. This is English Red Ochre, PR101. Burnt Sienna, PBR7. So earlier on I said this looks like burnt sienna, but when it dried, it looks different obviously lunar red rock pr101 this actually looks quite close venetian red pr101 as well this is obviously more red environmentally friendly brown iron oxide this is much darker transparent brown oxide and this is burnt umber. There are so many earth colors to choose from. Sometimes you get the uh, choice paralysis because there are just so many options. Most of these earth colors are actually from series one and series two. Red Jasper Genuine is from series three. So this is more expensive. Since this is an, 
Since this is an earth color, it would mix better with blues to form grays, and that's the case here as well. With French ultramarine, we get this nice gray. There seems to be some violet or purple in it, but it's very... it's not that obvious. So with French ultramarine, we get this nice gray. There seems to be some violet or purple in it, but it's not that noticeable. Now this mix is quite similar to French ultramarine and burnt sienna. So with the primary colors, the mixes, they don't look as nice. So um, here with new gumbosh, green rose, it looks a bit dirty, but with blue, with thalo blue, this is a nice gray. So this is the type of grays we can get. I think this is very nice, very beautiful. I actually got the idea to create these swatches from Daniel Smith's website. I think they did a better job than me. I will put the link in the video description below to where you can find these swatches. So this is Red Jasper Genuine, another earth color you can consider. There are so many earth colors. I'm not sure if I prefer this or the others. I think I may actually prefer these options here because they are mostly from series 1 and 2. They are more affordable. And this color, I think it looks a bit like Luna Red Rock, but this is more reddish. This is a nice earth color you can use straight from the tube, and it does mix very well with blues, but you can see that for the other earth colors as well. Alright, so that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope this is somewhat informative. See you in the next video. Bye!